Welcome back, Trainer So Rayquaza is here. I went out and did a few duos, and it is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be with Mammoth Swine for sure. So I'll put that in another video. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the new event that has been announced, and that is going to be the Equinox event. And if you see my shiny mischievous, isn't that pretty nice here? I'll go ahead and put in the evolution as we take a look at this news that was dropped on us here. Okay, so we are in the news portion of Pokemon Go, so let's go ahead and see what they have to say here. Celebrate the Equinox with Pokemon Go. So this event is going to be taking place from March 19th at 1 p.m. PDT till March 26th, 1 p.m. PDT. Now let's take a look at the features here. Grass-type Pokemon like Oddish, Execute, Sunkern, Shumish will appear more frequently in the wild. And I'm going to go over my shiny predictions towards the end of this information here. Lunatone and Solrock will switch hemispheres at the start of the event in celebration of the Equinox. These Pokemon will stay in their hemisphere after the event. All right, so there you go for that. I'm not too worried about those. Now let's see what they have for the raids. Grass-type Pokemon will be available to challenge in raids. Okay. Limited time grass type Pokemon field research will be available during this event. Sounds good to me. And then if we move on to the moves, this is very interesting. New moves will be permanently added to the game. Acid Spray. Now these are the Pokemon that can learn it once this is released. Arbok, Victory Bell, Tentacruel, Muk, Alolimuk, Quagsire, Quillfish, Octillery, and Swellot. So I'm very interested with Quagsire because that is going to be a highly used Pokemon in the Tempest Cup, possibly. So I like to see the performance on that. And we also have a new charge move coming into the game that is going to be Leaf Tornado. And initially they had Tropius here. They took it off from their blog and it was never mentioned here. I'm not too sure if it was a mistake or maybe they were thinking, okay, well, not everybody can get Tropius on top of giving it a special move that's just rubbing it in everybody's face who can't get one even more so they decided to not go with it or maybe it was just simply an error but nonetheless the pokemon that can learn this new charge move are going to be victory bell and shiftery i absolutely adore victory bell and i'm very happy that i have two 100s well i have a 100 bell sprout and a 100 victory bell completely maxed out so i will be testing that out as soon as it is released now the reason why i put those shinies on the thumbnail is because we have victory bell learning a new move it could also possibly shift tree but i think we may just get a shiny bell sprout and if we look up at the pokemon that are going to be spawning more often we have oddish execute sunkern which is already a shiny and then shroomish we could possibly see Shroomish be coming as shiny for this event, but the thing is, I hope they bring back Grass Knot because that wasn't a permanent move. It was only during that special event that they had where you evolve a Shroomish into Breloom and you will receive Grass Knot. So that would make the shinies a whole lot less desirable, although Dynamic Punch is still quite amazing, but you will not have that massive hitting Grass move on Breloom. Okay, and then we also have Sunkern, which has already been released as a shiny, so we can rule that out automatically. Oddish is on their image up here if we do look, so that could possibly very well be it. Then we'll be uh, getting the shiny Vileplume finally. And then we have Execute, which this is the one I really want the most as well as Bellsprout because shiny Victory Bell looks amazing and I really like Executor shiny as well. So hopefully we can get those. Fingers crossed we'll only have to see. They, they said nothing about shinies if you're sitting there like, okay, Poke, stop trying to assume all the shinies are going to be coming out. Well... Guys, come on, let's be realistic. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a shiny for this event. So there you have it. This is fairly nice. And I was going to cover this a couple days ago, but I just decided to wait for it to just finally come out. I did say or make a video talking about if we were going to get Leafeon and Glaceon for this Equinox event. Possibly we may very well just see Leafeon come into Pokemon Go for this event without telling us. Because it seems like with these events... A lot of times now they're dropping more information right as the event starts and saying, oh, surprise, this is also happening. So Leafeon is another possibility coming into Pokemon Go. We'll just have to wait and see because, you know, they have the bags to the wall now. There's so many Gen 4 Pokemon that have been released and they kind of need to get the rest of them out. I don't know what they're really waiting for. Leafeon and Glaceon, can we please get those already? I thought they were going to drop for the Eevee Community Day, but no, it sure did not. So regarding Leaf Tornado coming into Pokemon Go, what is the damage that I think it's going to do and how many bars is it going to be? Well, we have a Leaf Blade, which is fairly strong already. We're going to go take a look at that, what it looks like in the main series games. But it says 65 power. All right, so in the main series games, Leaf Blade is doing 90 damage, and we know that is a three charge bar move with very low energy gain. So very excited to see what Leaf Tornado will hold for us. 
So taking a look at my victory bell here, just as a visual, we do have leaf blade on it. It's going to cost 33 energy to get that off and doing 70 damage. This is one of the best charge moves currently in the game for PvP because of that low energy cost and high damage output. So as far as leaf tornado, I'm kind of confused because in the main series it is doing less damage. So I'm wondering how it's going to benefit. 33 energy is going to be your lowest energy cost for the charge moves. So I don't know exactly what leaf tornado is going to do being the less damage output so far in the main series games they may just switch it all up for pokemon go and it could just be like a two charge bar doing 80 or something like that so we'll just have to wait and see pretty excited but as it is now leaf blade is still looking pretty good all righty trainers and before i let you go i just wanted to go over a few more things here could we possibly see a shiny tangela entering into pokemon go equaling a shiny tangrowth or even a rod on grass and then possibly even a leafeon because we all have been waiting for that leafeon to enter into pokemon go for some time now anyways hope you enjoyed this video everybody get hyped i will be bringing you those rayquaza duos in a later video and with that said i'd like to say thank you for watching and i'll be catching you all next time take care